T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and lift off. Coach on Fire Radio. and you are listening to the Animal Wisdom Stories, the show about inspiring stories from and about your soul animals. Um, and I want, would like to thank Paul Liftenegger for the music. If you don't know his music, go and check it out on either Prime or YouTube. It's really lovely. Like every show, I have a short animal wisdom message. And today I have a message from my horse, Golden Arrow. Um, I connect with him and I channel his message and this message is for all of us. And he said to me, I would like to share about connection. If you open your heart, you're able to receive and send love. Love is needed everywhere. Love is everywhere. Everywhere is love. I, um, just to let you know, I pick up these messages and I just write them down. Um, there's no editing. There's nothing. So sometimes when I pick up animal um, communications messages from animals, they do sound sometimes they, they might be repeating themselves or they might sound a little bit odd. So just go with it. Um, if you do want your own animal being starred on my radio show with a little message from the animal world, please send me a picture and the name. And you can do that via Facebook, via our Facebook group. That's Animal Wisdom. And I'm looking forward to communicating to your animals and channeling a message for all of you. So that would be really nice. Today, I have the lovely um, Charlotte Banff here. She's a light worker uh, for animals or an animal light worker from Denmark. And uh, the way we met is actually quite interesting. I used to live in Denmark and I was looking at a horse to buy and the horse actually spoke to me. And I was, that was the first time that an animal communicated so clearly with me. So I was clearly a little bit spooked by the whole uh, thing. And on the way back to the ferry, uh, we met through a mutual friend and she was talking to me about what just happened. I progressed actually to uh, taking, taking her um, education, her animal communicating and healing education, and she also starred in my short documentary, Talking to Golden Arrow. And um, I would like to introduce Charlotte Bump now. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Miriam. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Very good. I'm still trying to get to grips with this whole thing. Um, Me too, I know. <laughs> <laughs> trying not to forget anything. Um, you are the ambassador, apart from your from your animal communication and healing work that you do. You're also the ambassador for two of the biggest rescue organizations in Denmark. That's right. And so maybe you would like to tell us a little bit more about what you actually do. Yeah, I would love to. And thank you so much for having me here today. I think that, you know, you and us having this, this conversation about something that is so dear to our hearts and in this way and this manner is, is, is a lovely opportunity. So thank you for having me. And um, <clears throat> to tell people a little bit more about what I do, uh, you've introduced me so well. Uh, I do uh, animal connection work that is both from the healing point of view and animal communication. Um, and as you said, I am the ambassador of two of the largest rescue organizations in Denmark, or rescue centers to be more precise. And, and 
to my to my heart is very very dear to to work with these animals that has um a past a history behind them they have experienced some some things and some some events in their in their past and 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 that has done something to their soul mm-hmm. and and working with healing to release some of these past bad experience and trauma situations for them is is really something that in my healing world lifts me up. It's, it, it's what um, fascinates me that, that you can help pe- animals do this. And this is what I teach my students as well, that, that everybody can do this. I'm not the only one being able to do this. Other people can connect to animals as well. Everybody has that ability within them. Yeah. I remember, I mean, I know that you do, a lot of work with traumatized uh, animals that come through the rescue organization. Mm. Um, I remember that when I was given my horse golden arrow, we were both um, traumatized or we both had experienced difficult situations in our past. And um, I remember that the work with you helped me a lot sort of moving on from that. And also my horse, also Mm. golden arrow. Um, the letting go and the arriving in the now and saying it is okay where we are, you exactly. know, exactly. It, sort of journey. Um, what it, do you use the animal communication to do that trauma work? Or is it more the, the healing side that you, um, it, it, it is both things actually in, in, in a combination. Um, but, but I trust that, that connecting, to to um, to source behind the animals to to the animals oversoul to this sort of um, collective consciousness behind the animals. From there, you can draw an immense amount of healing into a traumatized situation. It, and all, of course, it also depends what kind of trauma the animal uh, has experienced. Mm-hmm. Um, so so if you have a severe trauma you got to need some more juice to, to, to help the situation. But, but this connection that you're talking about between you and golden arrow and, 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 and your, can I call it a joint healing process? <laughs> you know, you, you joined in this together. Um, there's so many aspects of this. So, so, so yes, the, the communication is very important and the communication comes from the connection. Mm-hmm. So you got to work on the connection. It's, it's, it's there. You need to put the emphasis. I mean, we, we, I studied with you for, for many months, but maybe could you explain in a sort of short way how that communication and connection works? Because I understand that they both go together. You can't they do. have one, they do. one without exactly. the other. No, you can't. Horse and carriage. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. Everybody has a sensory body. That's sort of the, the, the way I approach this very uh, fragmented uh, discussion, you know, where to begin, the chicken or the egg. I'm using a lot of animal analogies here. wonder why. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, but everybody has a sensory body. And, 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 and I believe that, that we all have, you know, our clairs. You, you can have some, some various, you, you, you've heard about clairvoyance and, 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 and clair, clair auditives. And, but if you, you tap into your sensory body, you can figure out which one of these typical abilities is my primary one. Which one can, is, is my forte? Mm-hmm. So if you start working with your with your clear abilities and you start working on your sensory body how is this for me how do i pick up information from the animal kingdom is it something that i'm feeling in my body is it something that i'm seeing within my 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 inner vision uh is it something that i can hear uh is it something that i just know Mm -hmm. Um, and 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 for me when 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 i started doing this i had i'm very clear clear sentient i'm clear feeling so i could walk into a stable and just sense how the animal is is doing how are the horses if i go into a a pen with with um some rescue animals i sense in my 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 system how this how is this animal feeling how are they Mm -hmm. doing um and from there i built upon uh working with my my sensory systems 
Uh, so, so, you know, everybody has this ability and it's just different for each, each and every one of us, how we pick it up. Um, mm-hmm. it, it's, yeah, I've, what, what analogy to use, you know, we all like different things and, and nobody is the same. So you can't just say that it should be the same for everyone. Um, some people get downloads, just a sensory input straight away and they just know it. I did that too. I wasn't very clairvoyant. I didn't really see things. I saw some things, but, but after working on my, my energy body and my sensory system, I have developed my clear vision very much more. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you say work on your sensory body, what does that mean? What do you do? That depends, of course, on which sensory system you want to, to work on. But for me, when I wanted to um, enhance my my clairvoyant uh, abilities because they weren't that as developed as some of the others. So I thought it would be a good laboratory to try and see, Hey, I know I can do these two, one or two things and I can do them quite well. How can I, you know, enhance some of the others? So I started working a lot on my energy body. I did a lot of chakra work, Mm -hmm. uh, balancing my, my, my energy system and working on my, my third eye chakra, which is like the, the, the connection center for, for, for insights to and connections to spirit. And I did this work actually quite a lot with the animals. Mm-hmm. And this is, the, this is what I find very interesting because when you have to learn this, there are many, many ways you can do this. But, but I find it very interesting that the animals actually like to help us. So, so doing this work together with the animals, I have some very clever ponies in my stable and they are very good at teaching people how to, to connect with clear vision. Mm-hmm. Well, how do they do that? Well, how do they do that? This is for <laughs> Master King or my pony to explain. No, of course not. But um, when you do connection work, if you sit down in the stable and for instance, how I sometimes do it with some of my students, I do a, a, a guided connection meditation between me and, 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 and Master Kingo, as we call him. He's a Shetland pony and he's very wise. And, and, through this mutual connection that um, we guide ourselves into through um, the energy work that, that we do, then we can align and direct where we want to put our focus. So if you want to sit in the focus of, of, of working on your third eye, you can do chakra balance work. You can work with horses insights in order to, 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 to um, enhance that that part of your abilities Mm -hmm. and if you want to sit in in the focus of doing clear auditive work clear hearing work that you want to hear more with your with your either inner ear or with your physical ear you want to hear uh, messages from spirit then you direct your focus in your energy work to Mm -hmm. your clear hearing abilities how would you explain to somebody you know like Maybe somebody, some of our listeners would like to try this at home mm. and um, they haven't done all the sensory body exercises. No, um, no, no. So what would, you, what would you say to them just for them to kind of receive something from their animals, you know, just maybe pick up how they're feeling, what they would like to share yeah. or some messages? Because there's a thing to understand behind this. If you know, now this is on the radio, so let's stick to the, radio analogies because as I sometimes like to call it radio spirit is always broadcasting. So there's always this um, messaging information exchange going on behind the animals. So, so, um, so this space is really always present for us. So we just need to tap in. So if you want to listen to a particular radio station, you need to tune in to that frequency. Mm. And it's the same thing with the animals and you need to figure out which one is your, your primary, uh, which radio channel do you like to listen to? Um, so, but, but it is always broadcasting. So whether you are tuned in or not, doesn't mean that it's not going on. It's always going on. So you just need to start to listen within. Right. Um, and to me, it's actually, there are two things that, that, are, that I um, em- put emphasis on. It's meditation. Mm-hmm. To still your mind, because mm-hmm. when you calm that inner chatter voice, the monkey brain, as they call it, when you calm your, your mind, you can, you can connect. 
And because then you can listen to what is actually being broadcasted. And the second thing 